Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 where we're finally doing a long rest and I need to chat with everyone and see how they're doing. So, Lazel's finally seen the light and turned on her mistress. It took a little time, but she got there. Though it's not over yet. Masters rarely let their slaves go without a fight. True. I mean, he would know. <laughs> you know? I'm sure he is kind of proud of her. Why? I don't know why he is glowing like this. What does he... Maybe it's the knowledge of the ages? I don't know. How are you guys doing? Come to bask in the glow of the Moon Maiden's sword? I get yeah, I'm basking. Yep. Mm-hmm. How do you intend to spend your newfound freedom? I am free from my bonds, but not my duty. The dead three are risen. The dead two remain. You must face them. I will help. I wish you could join me. I wish she could join me. That would be so nice. I wish she could join me too. She'd be very useful as a cleric. Keeping very well, I, I am. I wouldn't have to have have had to have turned Gale into a cleric if you were on my team. <laughs> uh, I'd like to know what happened between you and your father, Ketherick. I mourn the man I knew. He was wonderful. He raised me to serve Saluna as my mother, rest her soul, had wished. He was everything to me. All Her armor life. is so cool. When an emissary of Saluna came to our little town, we were elated. Dame Aelin, daughter of the Moon Maiden herself. This was different. It was like I could see my fate in her eyes. <sighs> Lucky for me, she felt the same way. But my father was skeptical. Aelin is immortal, after all. I understand it's strange. There's an imbalance between us, certainly. But I suppose loving Aelin felt the same as loving myself. It was natural. Then... And this is where I still need answers. Yeah. I died. I'm not sure how or why. But all was black. 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 Next I knew I was being jolted awake. I smelled musty air. I saw shadows. And then my father's face, so changed, so hideously warped. He told me we'd be together now, said Aelin was dead. I couldn't speak, could only run. I found last light within the shadows, made a shelter there, prayed my father wouldn't find me. I mean, by the time Jahira came, I'd pieced together just enough to know I'd been dead a hundred years. That my father was the source of the horrors that plagued my home. He's gone now. But I suppose the man I knew died when I died. The man he became... That wasn't the father I knew. The one I loved so very much. Maybe he got jealous? Not, I'm not jealous in like a weird way, but like... When you, when you lose somebody, right? Like when he lost his wife. Right, um, th those who are left will cling to each other even more strongly, and like a father daughter bond is like a really strong one for some people, right? And so it's one of those things where it's like he's like, nobody will ever be worthy of you, kind of. And so he potentially that's where the crack started forming when she was maybe kind of seeing a life outside of him, and again, then not in like a weird, like incestuous way, and I'm saying like in like a trauma bonding way than seeing somebody that you care about very deeply like see being able that seeing them see another life that doesn't necessarily just encircle you doesn't like totally doesn't revolve around you would be disorienting and like like disconcerting right and so you would want to remove that especially if you convinced yourself that that was unsafe for your loved one to be with this other person or to do this other life you know um so that might have been kind of what happened, but I don't think he would have killed her. I feel like maybe if there was like, the, if this plot has been going on for a really long time, potentially, uh, um, 
maybe somebody killed her so that Kethrick would be turned because Kethrick was too powerful of an enemy and needed to be turned into an ally, potentially. And the gods do definitely long, long-term plans. This would have been like a, a century and a half, you know, or more, you know, in the making, considering how long she was dead too, you know? Um, what will you do now that your father's gone? Look after my angel. Oh, of course. Yeah. She's been through more than I can bear to think about. A hundred years in the Shadowfell. A hundred years being murdered by Sharans over and over. It fills me with a rage I can hardly contain. She's a formidable woman, my mm -hmm. Aenon. But no one could escape such horrors unscathed. She's in my hands now. And I intend to help her through whatever's to come. I'm kind of curious. Will both of us stand by you when the time comes to put down the horror that threatens this city? We are your allies for life. Uh, uh, like, why didn't Saluna, and maybe she couldn't, but why didn't Saluna try to send somebody to save her? Maybe she did, and they just didn't make it, you know? But it's like, in trying to send somebody to deceive the goddess of deception maybe wouldn't go well, you know? But it's like, Aelin was like, not just like a, like a, like a, priestess or a cleric like she's a daughter of Salune you know so like I'm like eh. but maybe she just you know raged from her own realm and could do nothing you know but a part of me is like I don't think the gods actually get like I don't think they care that much even the good ones but I am curious how she died how's it so it seems that Vlaketh is Lazel's queen no longer that took no small amount of backbone. Truly. Uh, I feel like I haven't gotten to know you properly yet. I, I, we've asked this, but I don't know if things change. What would you like to know? Yep. Anytime. All right. I've been unfair uh -huh. to you, but honestly, yep. you've surpassed even those. Okay, bye. Gail. Yeah. Glad to see I'm not the only one on the wrong side of an omnipotent Oh, that's right. Giselle did well to break free of Vlakith's manipulations, though I doubt Vlakith will let such insubordination go unpunished. Gail's was more of a trivial, trivial, I say, lover's spat between a mortal and a god, so it's like, nah. <laughs> I'll see what he has to say. Uh, Astral Touch Tadpole. I can only imagine what I could do were I to adopt the biology of a mind flayer. You've not taken this power for yourself. So I can only wonder, why offer it to me? Uh, well, oh, I mean, I was just trying to see what your, what your opinion was. Never mind. Bye. <laughs> How is everybody doing? You smell very I appreciate delicious, you. but I will nice here. The cave smells. Mm. My little babies, they're all doing well. They get their own little area. Hey, okay, let's see what if Withers has anything else to say about the situation. Fate spins along as it should. Are you gonna fall apart, man? Dost thou require no. a new ally? Where's Arabella? Oh, the girl has left. She left oh. you a letter. Thou couldst read it, or thou couldst not. Such is the way of all. That seems to be a running theme. Hast thou other Give business? me the letter. Okay. I'm glad I asked him. The ink is still fresh, and the letter drawn in a careful hand. Hey, you, so I owe you a lot. For one, I don't know what the inside of a snake's belly looks like. Um, I think, didn't we already read this? She's going to Baldur's Gate, Arabella. Okay. I thought we already got something similar to that. This is just that. Also, why? There's constant screaming. Constant screaming. Why? <sighs> Halsen, give me Will, the Oathbreaker, Isabel, Halsen. Carlac is. Carlac. I talked to Carlac, but 
she's not on that map. I don't know why this map is so large. At least I think it was. Also, uh, where oh, you can't see it right now. Past the Gers camp, it looked like there was a little path that kind of went like curved like this. But since I talked to them, I cannot go past them, it seems. And I think it was probably just like, oh, here's a treasure chest with something. But maybe it's something really important, and now I don't get to have it because the girl are like, Well, that means this. Okay, lays out. I wasn't sure if we just we still put up Shadow Hearts Camp in like a weird way. Is this where the no? Just an empty, weird. Makes me think there's something going on. Also, uh, I don't. Where's my Campfire. Where do I? Where do I go to sleep at? Is it? Is in here? Oh. I think. Yeah. Oh, it's not very central. Well, I think I got everybody. Just a bunch of wine and berries. You know, it's been a rough. You know what? Sure, wine and berries. A balanced diet. Haha, <laughs> I'm in combat. Yay, we're gonna get attacked. Or I'm gonna have a dream. Yeah, okay, we're having a dream. Sick. Why the booty shot? Hmm? Why the booty shot? What are we, Miranda? How did you? Oh, it's you. I must have let my mind wander. Enough for you to wonder. Oh, me. baby. <laughs> Forgive me. I am drained. Ever since you killed Catherine and took his nether stone, the Chosen's control of the brain has been brittle. It's rebelling against Orin and Gortash. Fiercely. I suspected that when we took Catherine's stone, the brain would begin to break free. Those brain quakes confirm that my suspicion was correct. I do not know what happens now when it receives their orders. And I do not dare guess. You feel the Emperor's fear as if it were your own. An Elder Brain enslaved is one thing. An Elder Brain unleashed will be the end of... Well, why don't we just kill it? Beautiful, isn't it? The mighty Prince Orpheus contained I mean, I wouldn't say beautiful. Come. You may as well sit a while. Now that you are In here. this lovely little abode. Your company, isn't it? Unwanted. I think that is the best I'm gonna get. <laughs> um... You... seem troubled. An accurate summary. I have found myself... Distracted of late. I'm haunted by memories. They are relentless. I can think of nothing. No one else. Uh, is it the woman who died? The Duke woman? Uh, who do you think of? Duke Stanley. Yeah! Or Berlin, as I knew her. I wasn't ready for her death. You thought you were my first ally. We already talked about this. Far from it. I have long sought the allyship of others. It is the only way to succeed. Though my relationship with Berlin was different from my relationship with <gasps> Oh! I, I got it. I got to know. Like, I got it. Was it? In a way. But not the way oh, Okay, fine. Of. In life, she was my business partner. Back when we ran the Knights of the Shield. A difficult task for a mind flayer. Duke Stelmane trusted me, and the city trusted her. I conceived the plot, but Berlin took center stage. I mean, she kinda had to. It was she who met with the merchants, politicians, and patriarchs. It was she who negotiated deals and signed off on agreements. 
Her rooms played host to the most important conversations in the city. This is a rough loss. Together, we brought order to chaos. At its height, everything that happened in that city went through the shield. Through us. I could not have done any of it without her. Just as I cannot do any of this without you. But now, she is And gone. they were friends. Like, she knew who he was longer. You know, I was like, ooh, it's a figment of my imagination. Do you need a hug, boy? Um, I'm sorry for your loss. I appreciate your understanding. What I feel is deeper than superficial cures can reach. And not entirely unwelcome. Most people think that Mind Flayers are soulless husks who feel nothing. I am glad you are not most I think they're people. extremely susceptible to psychic manipulation. Um, because they're brought under control by the Elder Brains, right? But it seems like potentially Mind Flayers who break free, like our friend in the Underdark and the Emperor, um, are just like normal, you know normal people, kind of, with face tentacles and a uh, need for brains. <laughs> you know? Um... I'm not... Okay, listen, someday, maybe, someday I'll be doing that stuff, but, uh... Not, not for this character, uh... Thank you for sharing that. Also, I don't know if mind players enjoy being touched. You have shown me great empathy. We are closer now. Close oh, enough, haha, ha, no. But I can ask you to reconsider your position regarding your physical. No. Form. I know it is no easy choice for you, but we will have a far better time ridding the city of Gortash if you accept just a touch of lividness. Not to mention the Elder Brain itself. Our chances against it greatly improve the more illithid. That doesn't we both that doesn't make me any sense to me. Another quake. The brain is rebelling again. I need to focus. And so do So you. is he trying to keep things contained? Like I know he said the quakes were bothering him, and it kind of feels like maybe the elder brain could take him over. Um if if he's not careful, it's kinda what it seemed like. Um But blah, blah, blah. I also um, there was the, the lower options were saying stuff like, "Oh, I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to make me empathize with you so that you, so that I'll become an illithid and it won't work on me." And like, I don't know, maybe I am being taken for a sucker and like he doesn't actually experience empathy. But like, I don't know. I talked to that other illithid in the Underdark, like I'm saying, and like, if it was a normal person who just needs to eat some brains, <laughs> you know. And so I, I'm inclined to think well of the illithid. Um, but the idea is to me that being more illithid would help us against an elder brain doesn't seem correct. It seems like the more illithid you are, the easier it would be to control you because illithids are seem to be extremely susceptible to psychic manipulation. Like they're born that way, they're born to be that way so that the elder brains can control them. So I think the less illithid we are, the better it would go. So that's my thinking. Oh my, I'm just a mere mortal, but what do I know? Hello, let's see how you're doing. Please, don't look at Do not me. perceive me. Hang on. Did I already did I already examine you? You are a beast. Okay. I know I've examined these two already, but I do think we need to bring, if we're gonna... Gosh dang it, there's so much for Asterian. There's so much for everybody in this city. Damn! It can't have been easy for Lazelle to stand up to Vlacketh like that. But there's nothing that woman can't do. I, I mean, she's, she's, she's tough. Um, come on. Looks like your troops all trooped, trooped up. up. You'll need to send someone packing if you want me to join. Asterian, because Asterian just can't. Excellent. Let's go. Also, we're gonna go do some interrogating. 
And while Asterion's probably good at that, I feel like Carlac would be very good at the intimidation factor of that. Also, she's probably really mad about children's toys being used as explosives, you know? Level 10. I like the bestial heart we have. Another aspect. Let's see. If you're poisoned, frightened, or charmed at the start of your turn, you have a 3% chance to begin raging without expending a rage charge. Uh, dashing grants you temporary hit points equal to twice your barbarian level. Dang. I might actually give her crocodile, honestly. Because it's not an insignificant number of times that we're on some sort of slippery surface. This does seem like even, it would work even on ice, right? Water-based surfaces. And you have, on slippery surfaces, you have advantage on saving her against being knocked prone, which would be nice. That does happen. When it, it doesn't happen a lot, but when it does happen, it's really annoying. I might give her crocodile. Crocodile. All right. Wow, we're almost, <laughs> I can't even start anything. Feels like, anyway. Leave camp. God, I wish I could sneak up on these people and stab them in the back. It's not gonna solve anything, though. Killing a couple people um, isn't gonna change anything, you know? The sentiment is still there. Let's see if I can... No? Okay. Sometimes children see things that other adults don't, so I was curious. Oh, well? Well? No? Aww. Back off and return to your homes. That's an Don't pay me any mind now. I'm just trying to make sure everyone gets fed. I'm just trying to make sure I'm not missing anything super important, but where is, where is this guy? Also, okay, hang on. Where are we? We're here. There's something to the southwest over here. Right? Kind of. I'm trying to get in here. Oh, let's at let's talk to the ox. I do have yeah, speak to the animals on. Blood. Do try the grass. Should it take your fancy? Such sweetness should be shared. You're adorable. Um why is there blood? Oh, is this this is the front of the house? Oh. Um, okay, wow, so this whole time I've been looking for the refugee camp and this guy's house was literally right next to the refugee I mean, I noticed that on the map, but like, I guess I'm just kind of like turned around a little. This is where we came in. This is the circus over here, I'm pretty sure. Uh, the problem is, I don't know where, like, where he would be. Investigate. Oh, right. But how did we know he was a regular there? Or was that something he said back, way back when we first, like, kicked him out of his house? That's the brothel. Which is in Baldur's Gate. There's so many things going on at the brothel. Weird, crazy. <laughs> That's so much is going on there. Is that where? No, um, the tavern is where the investigator is at. I think I'm kind of doomed. Oh, I did want to look at this area. Um, I think I'm going to have to probably in the next episode... Oh, is there one foot in front of the other? What's going on? Seen that for days. Me, 
My feet hurt. I know that you would, but we told our son that this is a whole Oh, that's to right. That's right. Can I not go through here? Turn back, citizen. No passage in this direction. For what? Why? Why not? It's bloodier than a butcher's backyard out there. Piles of dead absolutists, and a few of our own as well. The cultists assaulted the gate, armed to the teeth trying to break in. They nearly had it too, before the steel oh. watch intervened. Yeah, was that some fancy new... Listen, we already know what the steel watch is, but I need more info. <laughs> a little more than that. You'll see for yourself soon enough if you head to the city. I don't trust it. I think it's just, it's honestly just a way for Gortash to remove, like, the, for lack of a better word, human element of the, of the guard and make it, like, a militarized, unfeeling police force, you know? Yeesh. I mean, I could just jump out there, maybe, but I'm trying to actually get into this door. Nasty, nasty. Can I can I have? No, I will get I will get in trouble if I steal that. Why are you guys facing the city? No passage this way, I'm afraid. Turn back. It's for your own good. Why aren't you guys facing out? What's in this suspicious shed? Also, I saw something in the um the patch notes that apparently in patch seven we'll be able to use soap or maybe we've been able to use soap this whole time and i just haven't figured out how to use it because um i would love to be able to use soap and like wash myself off from all the blood all the time you know oh he's right oh, okay he's not they're supposed to be in Shares's crest, but that's he's over here in Shares's crest. So it's not in the city. He's just at, it's just outside the city, I think. No, I think I think I think it's just inside the city because I haven't gone through here because that's where the gate's at. Uh, I really don't want to do the circus. I really don't want it. It's a Fey circus. I don't I don't want to do it. But I have to. See, there's like this thing here that I'm like, dang it, we missed that. Anyway, I'm stalling on the circus. I guess we'll do the circus in the next episode. <laughs> but thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons. First, I want to give a shout out to my Acorn Tier patron. Thank you so much, Fame, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to my Sapling Tier patron, Risco Lido. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my Forest Tier patron, who has truly gone above and beyond in his support of me and the channel. And I truly cannot thank you all enough. Um, so thank you all again. And I will see you in the next one.